three different options, methods, or ways for transforming data that are negatively skewed in SPSS. If you have a data that are not normally distributed, i.e. negatively skewed data, and you want to use a parametric test, you need to try to convert this data from being non-normal to normal using one of the three options for transformation. So the three ways are either log 10, square root, or reciprocal transformations. Here in SPSS data view, I have a data that is labeled negatively skewed. I had already checked the data using the SPSS, in which I will show you shortly how to do it, and examined the data and found out that they are not normally distributed. They are negatively skewed. The way to check the distribution of the data is to click on Analyze, Descriptive, Explore, and then in this window I'm going to move the negatively skewed data into the dependent list to explore it. I'm going to click on the plot icon and take the stem, take the histogram as I want to have a look at my data using the histogram and using normality plot, QQ plot, and two, two statistical tests in SPSS. And I'm going to click on continue and then click on OK. An output will be generated in the SPSS. And if we look at the second table here, you can see that the, these data are not normally distributed as there is a skewness, which is minus 0.65. So the data are negatively skewed. They are not normally distributed. The standard error for skewness is 0.1. So the skewness is really high. And if we look at the normality tests performed by the package, you can see two tests here indicate that these data are not normally distributed. If we look at the histogram here, we can see that the data tend to skew to the negative values. So it is negatively skewed. The data negatively skewed, the tail of the data hit toward the minus values. And if you look at the QQ plot, see that the data, the dots here are clustered above or spread above the diagonal line. So now we have a data that are negatively skewed and we need to do test on them, statistical test. And if we want to do a parametric test, we have to transfer, transforms, transform this data using one of the three options available, either through log 10, square root, or reciprocal transformation. So we cannot proceed with the parametric test unless we do a transformation on this negatively skewed data, not normal distributed data, hoping that this transformation can revert this data into normal distribution. So the way to do transformation is first of all we need to pinpoint I want I want to pinpoint that we need to keep keep this value here the ma maximum value of the data is 6.12 so the score in this data the highest score is 6.12 we're going to use it shortly so so we have here a negatively skewed data not normally distributed and I want to do log 10 transformation, then square root transformation, then reciprocal transformation, and see if all these three transformation option can really change the distribution of this data. Before proceeding with transformation for a negatively skewed data, it is essential to do a data reflection. So we cannot proceed with transformation without doing data reflection on a data that are negatively skewed. 
and to do data reflection is as following. Click on transform compute variable. A window will appear. I'm going to generate a target value variable. Call it reflection. So and I'm going to use a numeric expression box here and I'm going to make a formula and as I said that uh, the maximum value in this data is 6.12 I'm going to add 1 to it and then I'm going to subtract this value from each value or score in this negatively skewed data so this is the formula for reflection is to find the maximum value in your data add it to it one and then subtract this addition from subsequent values for each score in in this negatively skewed data so if i click on okay spss will generate a column called reflection and if I want to explore and compare the data distribution and reflection to, any, uh, to the neat or original data, I'm going to use again analyze, descriptive, and then explore. And I'm going to use the reflection data, reflected data into the dependent box. And I'm going to look at the distribution of this data. Again, we can see that we know, already know that the new, that negatively skewed data uh, uh, NS is point. The skewness is point minus 0 0.65. In the reflection, the skewness is 0 0.65. So it's becoming positively skewed. And, uh, and if we look here at the diagram, we can see that reflection has, you know, the data become positively skewed and its reflection is essential step in in, in um, a prerequisite essential step in data transformation. Now, since I've now prepared my data for transformation, I want to do a log 10 transformation on this reflected data. And the way to do that is transform compute variable and then in this when do I'm going to call the target variable log 10 and I'm going to select the log 10 from arithmetic click on the function group arithmetic then click click on log 10 and move the log 10 into the numeric expression and in the numeric expression I'm going to do log 10 on the reflected data not the neat data or negatively skewed so i need to do the reflection the log 10 on the reflected data and now this numeric expression is ready to calculate log 10 for reflected data if i click on the icon for okay spss will generate a log 10 column for reflected data and there is this is the value for it and i want to and i want to check whether the log transformation has really transformed the data from being not normal to normal and the way to do that is to click on analyze descriptive explore and i'm going to move the log 10 into the dependent list and click on the okay and i'm going to compare the three data neat data reflected data and log 10 however here if we know we know that we knew already that the, neg the ne negatively skewed data there is a skewness of 0 0.65 once you do log transformation the skewness has been reduced to 0.147 so it has dramatically log 10 transformation dramatically reduced the skewness in this data and if we look at the normality test in this table, we can see that 
Block 10 transformation has significantly enhanced the distribution of the data and the data become normally distributed. And if we look at the histogram, this is before transformation, negatively skewed data, and this is the histogram for data that are transformed transformed using log 10 and as you can see here is neat and normally distributed and most of the spot in the QQ plot are on the diagonal, diagonal line so the data has been really transformed and become normally distributed and thus you can we can move ahead and do parametric test on this data just before I move to the second options of transformation, uh, we could do log 10 and instead of doing two steps for log 10 transformation uh, by doing reflection and then log 10, I could combine both in one step. So I could generate a log 10 without skipping doing this step by combining both. And the way to do that, I'm just going to show you how to do it. Instead of doing log 10 reflection, I'm going to do, I could do log 6.12 plus 1 minus negatively skewed. So this is one, another way to do log 10 on negatively skewed data. As here, we're doing reflection of the data and log 10 of the reflected data simultaneously. This, this is just combined way to shorten and uh, shorten the process. So this is just for information. But I'm going to stick with the two-step procedure, reflection, then transformation. Now, so, so we see here, we saw here that log 10 transformation have or has transformed the data and become normally distributed. We're going to try to see if square root of the data, the reflected data can also rescue the data and become normally distributed. And the way to do that is to go again to compute variable, reset this, and I'm going to call that variable square, square root, and I'm going to use from the function group the function called square root. And I move, I'm going to move the square root into numeric expression. And here I am going to use the reflected data instead of the neat negatively skewed. I can here to either use the reflection or indirectly put to a reflection, do a reflection, use the neat negatively skewed, reflection, and square root simultaneously. But here I'm going to use the reflected data. If I click on OK, a new column appear here with, this, with label square root of the reflected data. And I'm going to examine the distribution of this data and to see whether square root has managed to rescue the data and transform it to become normally distributed. Again, this is the comparison between neat data, reflected data, and log 10 and square root. Here we can see that in the square root, the, the skewness is 0.251. So this is really very low value for skewness, which indicate that the negatively skewed data minus 0.6 has been transformed and the skewness is reduced to 0.2. This is verified by the test of normality. As you can see here, the square root has managed to transform the data, the negatively skewed data, to become normally distributed. So, uh, so now we had managed really to rescue, transform this negatively skewed data using both log 10 and square root. If we look at the histogram for the square root, 
this is look now this is the histogram for for log for the sorry sorry the square root for the negatively skewed data and we can see here post transformation the data tend to be normally distributed now there is another way or another method to transform data which is also called reciprocal transformation and the way to do reciprocal transformation is to click on compute variable reset and i'm going to call it inverse or reciprocal transformation and i'm the way to do reciprocal transformation is to click on one then subtract the reflected data and then click on OK. A column, new column is generated called inverse and data in it. So the reflected data has been inverted, inversed, or reciprocal trans or the our reciprocal transformation has been applied. So to check the distribution now of all the three log 10 square root and inverse on this data, look click on explore. I'm going to move the inverse into the dependent list. I'm going to click on OK. We already know that the negatively skewed data, the value for skewing, skewness is minus 0.65. Post log transformation is minus 1.147. Post square transformation is 0.2. So this is not normally distributed. This one is normally distributed. However, in uh, inverse, the skewness is 1 and the standard error is 0.1. And that's considered to be high uh, skewness. So thus, uh, reciprocal transformation did not manage to rescue the data and transform it from not normal to normal. As again, this is confirmed by looking at the test of normality comparison between the three transformation log 10 square root and inverse using uh, two tests KS and Shabiru Welleck tests. You can see that log 10 and square root were, were successful in transforming the data and making it normally distributed however reciprocal transformation did not. And uh, if we look at the reciprocal transformation uh, histogram you can see here or inverse the data are not normally distributed so there is skewness to the positive values so from here I managed really to show you how to deal with negatively skewed data if you have a negatively skewed data and you and they are and you want to transform them to become normal distributed you have three options, three ways, three methods, log 10, square root, inverse. If, however, before or prior to do any of this transformation, you need to do essential step called reflection of the data as it is crucial and prerequisite for transformation.